What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World. And right now, we're going to unlock our 95 overall free player, uh, the Super Bowl player that I was telling you guys about. We're going through the challenges method after we already completed two of the sets. So I'm going to go through all of that stuff, how I got my first five first downs. You're going to need another five uh, once they drop part two on February 5th. So definitely look out for that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to quick sell this. And like I said, you, I told you guys about this. I explained it to you guys. You unlock three of them uh, from doing the actual challenges, and then you have to find another way to get the two. Now, this comes with, um, yo, that's pretty nice. Oh, that's dope. That's actually pretty dope. Um, okay, cool. Um, that pretty much comes with part of the, um, the milestones of doing the challenges. So I'm going to show you guys what I just did. Uh, I completed every single thing that they had there. Yes, it was very time consuming. Uh, but, you know, ultimately we got three first down collectibles. And we also got that Nat 90 to 91 Super Bowl pass player that we could probably use in sets to obviously get something else that's auctionable. All right, so now that that's done, or oh, before we get out of that, I might as well stay there. I shouldn't have backed out because we just unlocked the first down. You have to then go now and play the final challenge to get the actual um, the card. So let's go back into the challenges real quick because that was something that was confusing. Um, they changed it up from uh, zero chill. Pretty much you have to get the first down, quick sell it, and then go back to these winning drive uh, challenges, and then you will get the actual thing for the tier. It wasn't like this in, uh, for the zero chill with the chill factor. So many of you guys were confused. So I tried to kind of clear that up when I explained to you guys the Super Bowl promo um, that it's a little bit more involved. You have to actually quick sell it and then you go back to the challenge and play it. And then that's how you upgrade your tier. So they've changed it up a little bit. Either way, it doesn't matter. I told you guys I'll take care of you. Not a big deal. Many of you guys have already received your free player. I have not yet, but we're going to play this challenge real quick, get a first down, and then we're going to see uh, together what I got. Um, after we discover that, now we can go and look and see if we want to actually go ahead and, um, you know, pretty much more or less uh, get one of these other sets done again. Because it could be lucrative depending on the other prices and what the cards are going for right now. But like I said, both those players, Joe Namath, I don't really like the card. Um, some of you guys like them, that's good. I'm not telling you that you shouldn't use them. I'm telling you that I don't like them. Um, so whatever works for you guys, I would definitely stay with it. Um, it doesn't really matter, so we'll go ahead and get that first down real quick, and then we're going to jump back out and get to um, get our free Super Bowl players. Like I said, guys, if you enjoy a card that I don't like, that's fine. Eventually, you'll hate it too, because they're going to do wild things. I just have zero tolerance, because the game is continuously patched, tuned, and all kinds of weird stuff happens to it. And instead of me being frustrated with a card that I don't like, why don't I just get rid of it? So here we go right now. 95 overall Super Bowl pass hero man. Okay, so they oh they give you a choice of all of them. Okay, so now pretty much what you have to do is you have to go and look and see which one actually works for what you're trying to do. So that's three for that's the offensive side, and then three for the defensive side. Alright, so there's the pack there, right? So I didn't realize that it was a fantasy pack. Did it, it just says that? 95 overall Nat Super Bowl pass hero. Oh, it does say fantasy pack, so that's cool. All right, so you get a choice. All right, so now to figure out which one we're going to actually pick. I didn't get my... Did I get another store pack? That's probably for part two. Uh, part two is going to be released on, uh, like I said, February 5th. But let, let's go ahead and get out of this right now and go and see which one of these, um, you know, which one of the offensive Super Bowl pass heroes are, or, or masters are selling for the most. Because with that, we can decide now which one we want to go with. Or we can just take a nap that's randomly trash and just hold on to it. I don't really recommend doing that. If we can afford to get something else, get another set done, and get back more nats, and then quick sell them for training, it may be it may be the smarter move to do. Because we don't know what's going to be part of the present, but it's going to be kind of weird because obviously Mahomes, I don't know what else they're going to do. Like realistically, the cards might be trash unless the limiteds are really good. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to probably, it might not make much sense to go ahead and try to, you know, figure out what we're going to do with some of these other cards because just realistically speaking, they may not be as good. Now that I think about it, bro, there's not going to, like, who are present players that you would want? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, just think about it. Like, which players would you ultimately want right now? All right, this Super Bowl pass, but hold up. Where's the, uh, what do we have, a QB? Let me go over here and see what he's doing. Um, all right, so Joe Namath is all the way down to 269. What is the D tackle doing? Yeah, I can't really think of a present player that I want right now. Okay, he's still up at 301. So we could. What is his power up going for? I don't even know what his power up overall rating is. 
and it's probably not going to um it's not going to come up like that so we're going to have to go so he's at around 300 it looks like defensively getting that player would make the most sense but let me go ahead and um let's put in parry real quick and see what we come up with as far as you know what the power value is because you got to add that in also about how much you'll make so 32 so you're looking at about 330 right um joe namath you saw that he's at 269 so to complete his set and get back the nats and sell him although you'll be getting about 55,000 training it doesn't seem like it makes sense you're going to lose too much and i'm already down like 800k because i've been upgrading some parts of the team i just added two really really good guards to the squad so you know i'm down cash i don't want to keep doing it that doesn't really make much sense so let's see something real quick um let me figure this out okay so these guys it's four of them so which guy is missing so they don't get so what is was bob sanders in that in that pack because he's a 96 too i saw the other idiots though I saw this guy, this guy, and this guy, right? But I didn't see Bob Sanders. Did I? Hold on, wait a minute. I knew something was missing, dude. Like, I knew they would get me somehow. Okay, and this guy wasn't there. So we don't have the two main ones. But we could choose the other ones. But this guy's a little bit cheaper also. Um. Okay, let me go back and look at that pack. But also, before we do that, we would have to buy this guy. So Bob Sanders is that price. We could get one of these. Let me see how much, like, which one is the most expensive. Okay, he's 120. That dude's garbage. All right, what's this guy doing? 120. We got 128. And then what's this idiot? 128 and what? Okay, 118. So it looks like we'd have to get this guy. Um, we would have to get him, Corey Littleton. And then what we what we could do with him? Um, because he's gonna save us like 18k. Then we'd have to spend 200. And then whatever Bob Sanders is. And then obviously I've already completed the set, but you can't use the Nats that you get back from the actual set to repeat the set. So I had already quick sold those guys for training. So I'm gonna figure something out right here because it looks like it's a fantasy pack, but it doesn't give us those two guys. It doesn't give us Bob Sanders or Keenan, uh, Keenan McCardell, right? I didn't see those two idiots. All right, so that's how they got us. So we would have to actually you know, purchase that in order to um, you know, do what we have to do. But offensively right now, we don't have any use for either of these guys. So it seems relatively weird at this moment how we could actually do something, um, you know, not going defensively. It looks like we would have to take this guy if we wanted to do the set and then we would spend one, two, almost 400K to make 55,000. It might, it might work out. It actually might work out because he's at about 300K. We got to spend 200. 300 like about 400 right yeah about that about that amount and then we could probably get back the three so we 100k for 55,000. i think that makes a lot of sense right so let's take this uh joe uh do, 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 do. i'm about to say joe, yeah joe name is so trash we got to take Corey. we got to take this idiot all right so we'll take because he's the higher price of whatever is available there so let me just go ahead and walk you through it real quick about what i'm going to do Th this is the way that it works right because I know that that guy is 300k, he's going, like, I'm selling him instantly. I don't know why he's still that expensive. It's still kind of ridiculous, but he's going to be the best option, right? Because we can sell him back. Let me see, what is, what is this idiot going for? Bob Sanders. All right, 201. All right, we're going we're gonna to do it right now. We'll do it right now, just so I can show you guys what's going on and how I got so much training and all the stuff that's happening. He never finished his training. Like, bro, you know, you know what movie that is. A lot of you guys don't know. All right, so 112. That's pretty good right there. We'll grab that three, and then we'll go ahead and get the last card. Um, yeah, Lance Briggs is not that good, so it doesn't really matter. We'll go ahead and grab that for 118, and then we'll complete this set. All right, get back out 300k, be at about two mil, and just chill with the other Nats. Get some more training, and then wait for part two. And then whatever we could do in the store, we'll just re-roll. Uh, it'll just get re-rolled and then we'll keep on making, you know, currency. This is the way that you guys have to do it. But it just has to make sense because we're not losing that much doing this set again. So it doesn't really affect me as much. But if you guys lose too much, because for 100 k to get 55,000 training, that actually works out a lot better than what we were doing before. So this guy right here, we're going to just go ahead and um, we're going to auction him off for... Like let's let's just say 295, right? Because somebody will go ahead and probably get him. Uh, just remember, you can't put him in as fullback, and he ain't scoring no touchdowns for you. And then the other one, 
we'll go like 28K. We'll put him up for like 28K because that's what we he was about just a while ago, right? No, I ain't trying to sell. Bro, 28K, I'm trying to put this guy up for. All right, 28,000. All right. And then those two guys, when they sell, it'll put us up over 2 million back. And then these guys right here, they're all Nats. Now look, just hear me out, right? I don't have any use for Bob Sanders. So look, this is what I was talking about. 56,000 training, you're spending, that's like 100K, right? So you're obviously getting a lot more training because you're not getting 56,000 for 100K. So completing this set actually made us a lot more um, formidable and richer, theoretically, because we were able to get a lot more training off of it. And again, if you want any of the cards, don't quick sell them. You see what I'm saying? You see how we just sold? We back to two million. So we were back like at like two one or something like that. So now we're whatever we were at before. We're back over two million, and we're chilling, and we have 154,000 training, and we just grinded all through that with the first downs to be able to accomplish stuff like that. So those are just some of the things that you can do to get your coin stack right, get your training right, and make your team formidable for the gridiron. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. Really appreciate the love and support over at GMI's World Gaming and GMI's World Podcast. Love you guys. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.